Harriet Tubman. I'm a conductor for the Underground Railroad. That is a system to help slaves escape to freedom in the North. I used to be a slave, and I used the Underground Railroad to escape with the help of a Quaker woman. She was a white woman that did not believe in slavery. My master did not keep track of my birthday, but I know that it was on that it was on March 10, 1813. I was born to Ben and Harriet Ross. My birth name was Almita Ross, but people called me Mita. When I was a young slave, I worked in the in the house setting table, setting tables and clearing tables for meals, making beds and cleaning rooms. I when I was older, I worked in the fields. I liked this a lot better because I was in the outdoors with the other slaves. We would sing. We would sing and we would sing so that we would be in sync with the other slaves. One day I was picking tobacco and I saw a slave running away. The overseer our boss saw him too. He and he called me to help 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 him catch the runaway. I knew I had to do it or I would get whipped. We chased the slave all the way into a general store in town. The overseer picked up a heavy weight and threw and threw it at the slave. But when he threw it, I ran in front of the runaway to protect him, and I got hit on the forehead with it. it. I was knocked unconscious and have a very big scar from the blow. All the excitement gave the runaway a chance to escape. From then on, the other slaves respected me for helping one of us run to freedom, and became to call me Harriet. Now about the rest of my name. When I was 23, I fell in love with a free slave named John Tubman. He was free because when his master died, he gave freedom to all his slaves. I married him and we lived on the plantation together. John and I talked about running away, but John said it would be too hard. One day I met a Quaker woman who was visiting the plantation. She asked me if I needed any help escaping. I said no because John did not want me to leave. The next time, the this woman visited. She asked me again if I wanted help. I realized that I, that I had to escape without my family, so I told the woman yes. That night I packed up my things and I met the woman in the forest. She took me to her house where I stayed one night. She told me to run to the next house that would be safe to stay at. The, the houses would have a candle in, in their window and other signals that told me that I could stay there. I traveled from house to house until I got to Pennsylvania. This string of houses we call the Underground Railroad. It's okay. It's okay. This is a slave that I'm leading to freedom. I in Pennsylvania worked as a maid at a hotel, but I miss my family very much. I decided to return to the plantation to help my family escape to freedom. But when I got back home, I found that my husband had remarried. So I quickly gathered another group of slaves to travel with me back to Pennsylvania. We used the Underground Railroad to get to travel back to the north. It was very, it was a frightening and difficult to make this journey. But I thought nothing could be more important than helping free slaves. Over my lifetime, I helped over 3,000 slaves reach freedom in the north and live a life of freedom.